Hot takes, great debates, highlights, basketball. I hate to hear news like this, but at least a blessing comes out of it. Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers. By the way, Damian Lillard has been on a fantastic tear over the last, I say, month and a half. Since about January, since we got into 2020, Damian Lillard has been averaging, what, about 35, 40 points a game. The Portland Trail Blazers have won 6 out of 10. They're in the mix for playoff contention. I know they lost last night to the Memphis Grizzlies. But Damian Lillard has been absolutely sensational for that Trail Blazers team. Again, many would argue that they shouldn't be in a position where they're the ninth seed in the Western Conference. I'll give you that. But Damian Lillard has did everything in his power to get that team back into the mix. And they now have a chance in the second half of the season right after All-Star Weekend uh, to try to compete for that 8th or 7th spot. We got a couple teams around that area. Memphis, OKC, and Houston hovering around that area. Also Dallas as well. We'll see who gets hot and who goes cold. Speaking of All-Star Weekend, as we are pretty much here, about 48 hours from being at All-Star uh, festivities to the 2020 edition. It's going to be dedicated to David Stern, a commissioner, a former commissioner of the NBA who passed away a, a month or so ago. And obviously, we lost Kobe Bryant last month, which, whatever. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Uh, the weekend is going to be very emotional, but the game's going to, you know, go on. And one guy that won't be in the festivities is Damian Lillard. As he suffered a groin injury late last night in that game against the Grizzlies. It was in the fourth quarter, I believe. He pulled his groin. And it is the LeBron injury, you know. And if if it is uh, one of those injuries that just continues to linger, we will see when Dame can return. That might be that final blow to a very weird and disappointing Portland Trailblazers season. We now know who's going to replace Dame in the All-Star game. Uh, Devin Booker got the call. So according to Shams over there uh, at The Athletic, I believe, yeah, yeah, Devin Booker has the call. He will replace Damian Lillard, not only the All-Star game itself, but Dame was going to be in the three-point shootout. And I was looking forward to that as well. We're missing Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in the three-point shootout. I, I love to see Dame as hot as he's been. I would love to see Damian Lillard in that contest, but we're not going to get that this year. He's doing whatever it takes to make sure he's on the court uh, for his team uh, come second half of the season. You know, speaking of Damian Lillard, I was thinking... Dame has entered the realm of guys that I would pay money to go see. Say what you want about Russell Westbrook. Say what you want about James Harden. Those guys, to me, are on a list of around, i say maybe 10 guys. And this is my definition of All-Star, at least part of my definition with All-Star. To me, those are two of the 10 guys in the league that you have to go see when, when they're in your city or they make you want to go see. Again, you could think Harden's the biggest ball hog ever. You could think Westbrook's not the best leader out there. But you pay to go see them play because they never cheat the game. I'd add to that list guys like LeBron, Giannis, um, you know, Kawhi when he's on the court, he doesn't cheat the game. And he's so successful at the game of basketball, two championships. You got to respect him on that on that level. So I'll even throw Kawhi in there. He's absolutely sensational to watch, to watch if you get a chance to watch him in person. I saw that's about, what, five guys? I, there's a few guys around that I'd maybe add to that list. But I was thinking about Damian Lillard. And for me, this season, Dame's been so spectacular that I'm going to add him to that list. And I was thinking of other guys around the league who are mad that they're not all-stars or believe they got snubbed, the Bradley Bills of the world, the Devin Bookers up until today of the world. And I was thinking, when the Phoenix Suns play, do I ever want to go to a game when Phoenix is in my city? Wherever I'm at, do I ever want to go see, see Phoenix play basketball? I and, and, you know, I thought long and hard about it, and I just could never, I, I, I couldn't come up with ever a time where I was thinking to myself, ooh, Kelly Oubre is coming in town. Ooh, the number one, former number one overall pick, DeAndre Aiden's going to be here. Or even, ooh, the 26 point per game score out of Kentucky, Devin Booker's gonna be in town. I wanna go see him. So I have a, like I said, a very short list of things that can make you an all star. If your numbers are all time, if you help your team win at an elite level, or the last one for me, the third one, is if you bounce off of my TV screen when I'm watching basketball games. Do I look for you every play? Do you make me want to go see you in person? Those are pretty much my three things for an all-star in my mind. Again, if you win at an, an incredible clips, if you have historically great numbers, or 
if you um if you bounce off my TV screen and you make me want to go see you in person, right? Those are my three things. I was thinking to myself, where does Devin Booker fit in? Average of 26 points a game. So his numbers don't bounce off your screen. They're good. They don't bounce off your screen. Does he help his team win? Yeah, pretty much Devin Booker's been a loser. Loser in my SpongeBob voice since he got into the league. And as great as a talent Devin Booker is, I don't want to go see him play in person. So with that logic, my logic, Devin Booker wouldn't be an all-star to me. And I was thinking, you know, they had to find a guy in the Western Conference to replace Damian Lillard with. I was thinking to myself, you know, Bradley Bill, you know, some of these other guys, Carl Anthony Towns, who feel like they get snubbed every year. They don't bounce off the screen to me. One other guy that was out there that has his team, ironically, a couple games ahead of Damian Lillard's Portland Trailblazers. Ironically, the team that Dame was playing last night and Damian Lillard in his post-game interview didn't give John ja Morant the credit who scored like 20 points last night. He bigged up Devin Booker. Even Dame said, yeah, hopefully they give the spot to like Devin Booker or somebody. Could have easily threw John ja Morant in that mix, but he didn't. And believe, and trust and believe, I didn't pick John ja Morant to make the All-Star team this year. Right? I want to be clear with that. But since we need a replacement... I would roll with the guy that's averaging 17 points a game his rookie year in John ja Morant. John ja bounces off my TV screen. Does he have unbelievable stats this year? No, I believe down the line John ja Morant's going to be close. There's going to be a season or two where John's ja averaging 26 points a game, maybe 11 assists a game, and maybe 8 rebounds a game. He has those capabilities as a bigger guard, right? And the last but not least, does he win at an elite level? Not yet, but to me, it's very elite of John Morant to be a rookie. First year in the league. We just talked about how Devin Booker's teams don't win. Josh in his first season and already has his Memphis Grizzlies bunch. This is not a good team either. This team has already exceeded their wins predictions total by most uh, sports betting agencies out there and companies out there. This team's already at the All-Star break surpassed what most people, predictors, have this Memphis Grizzlies team finishing. Did they gain an all-star in free agency last summer? Ah, ah, ah. No. Actually, last trade deadline, they lost an all-star guy in Mark Gasol. They traded him for Jonas Valanciunas. Um, outside of John Morant, did they go draft another great guy? Like Atlanta had two lottery picks in the last draft? Ah, 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 ah. No. What, what have they done? Hell, they couldn't even get Iguodala, a veteran, to suit up. Do they have savvy championship veterans on that team right now? Uh, 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 that would also be a now. Jazz becoming the leader in his rookie year. Go ask anybody in that Memphis Grizzlies team from Jaron Jackson on down. They'll say Jazz their leader. They'll say Jazz picking up quickly, becoming their leader. Jonas Valanciunas is a, a veteran in this league who, by the way, was around guys that went on to win a championship. Valanchunas got traded at the deadline last year. He was around Kawhi. He was around Kyle Lowry for years. He knows what a championship... He's not a champion. He knows what a championship guy looks like. He played on a team that could have very well won a championship with him instead of Mark. Not saying they would have, but I'm just saying. He's, he was on a team that ended up winning the championship last year. He knows what a champion looks like. He's allowing John Morant to be the leader of that team. If I were making a pick, I know Devin Booker's stats are technically better than Ja Morant's. But me personally, Ja would have got that nod as a replacement over Book. Again, I had neither guy making my all-star team. But since Dame is out, I was going to say DeMar DeRozan because I had DeRozan in. But DeRozan, he's missed the last few games. I would have said no to DeRozan. He's been, he's, been, he's been okay as of late. And then he's been injured the last few games. The one that pops out on the screen is the guy that has his team in playoff contention. Congratulations to Devin Booker on making his first All-Star game. I'm not going to say he doesn't deserve it. I'm sure that man puts a lot of work in. Devin Booker's a phenomenal talent. But it doesn't equate to wins. If it doesn't equate to wins, if he doesn't pop off my screen, and the numbers are good, not all-time level great, I think I'd rather reward the winner. Congratulations to Booker. I would have went with John Morant, though, as a replacement for Damian Lillard in the All-Star game.
You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.